Week four, we are working on the Osotogadi and the Drop Seonagi, and we're gonna have 08 Olympian Ryan Reeser is gonna show us how to do these moves for us. Okay. So, first and most important part, left hand is gonna grip a little bit below the elbow, and you're gonna turn your wrist down. This is gonna control this whole arm. This is what's gonna get him off balance. Okay, if I don't get him off balance and I step in, I'm gonna get thrown. Okay, so most important part, gripping on this sleeve. This hand is gonna be up by his neck. He's gonna have to get his head moving backwards. Okay, so it's just gonna be high on the lapel. So I can push that head back. First step <clears throat> has to be past his foot. My left leg has to step past his. Okay, if I don't step past this and I step in, my whole body goes backwards and I fall back. So, step past. This is going to push backwards. All the weight on this leg. From here, I'm going to kick up. As I come down, I'm going to hook the leg. I'm not putting it down. I'm hooking it. I'm going to push this head backwards. Okay, this is a leg throw. It's not a trip. It's a sweep. Step past. Arm backwards. Leg up, push his head backwards, As my head comes down, my leg has to come up. If I don't push my head down, my leg can call, only come up a certain amount. Come all the way up. One more time. Step, pull back, head backwards. So drop tail, a couple of variations of where you want to put your hands. With the right hand, the left hand is the same space as the Osoto. Right below the elbow, nice and tight. This is what's going to get them off balance forward. Okay, from here on, let's go cross grip on the shoulders. My knuckles are going to be on his shoulder. It's nice and tight. Starting in my fighting position with my right foot forward. First movement, I'm going to go down, which will cause him typically to come up a little bit. Okay, so down, as he comes up, I'm pulling. It's like I'm reading my wristwatch. To get him off balance, step toe to toe. His back foot is gonna drop underneath. So here's the movement. It's here on the sleeve, here on the shoulder, down, and as he comes up, pulling him forward, stepping with his front foot, and then from here, Dropping underneath. My feet are always, my toes are always underneath me so I can pop up. Okay? It's almost like you're taking a weight, throwing it right between his legs, he's gonna flip over. Here, down, up, under. You always want to turn your head, jiggle where you're throwing as well, or you can't turn all the way. One more time, quick motion.